start at the very beginning in measure one. The little trick on getting that first G is it just quietly pits with your left hand the open G. But quieter than that, I'm just playing it loud for the recording. And then tap your second finger down for the stop G. When it matches the open G, that's when you know you're ready to go and you're very, you'll be very secure in your first note. Now, the uh, hairpin, the hairpin meaning that it starts quieter, gets louder by the end of the first measure, and then gets quiet again by the end of the second measure. The trick to doing that is to use a shorter amount of bow on the first three eighth notes. Don't use very much bow at all, conserve it. And then on that D sharp, play it long, um, not long sounding, but just use, use a long amount of bow. So notice I used a lot of bow length on the D sharp, but I still kept it short sounding. Same thing on the E natural and D sharp and E natural to follow. And then a really a lot of long bow length, but still make it sound short on the B sharp. And so forth. And then after that, you start really conserving your bow, not using very much at all as you go towards the end of the second measure. Less bow and, and really a lot uh, a, a lot of pianissimo, and you do that with very little bow. Let it kind of slow down naturally because you're using um, uh, less energy to play piano. Don't really consciously think about slowing it down. I know you've probably heard recordings that do that. Just let the natural uh, um, fact that you're conserving bow slow you down. Okay. Starting on the Allegro, take that sotto voce very seriously. The stroke, as little bow as possible, closer to the middle of the bow if you can. Do not do it here. If that's where you're used to playing, and for a lot of bass players, that's where we're used to playing, you don't want to do it there. Farther out, wherever you can. The farther out, the better. And when you play, just kiss the string. I don't want you to press it all or put any arm weight in there. Just rub the string and let it do its job. You don't have to force a piano, short piano note. Um, so keep it short and light. Uh, a good uh, visualization is think about a snare drum player, if you've ever play, uh, played snare drum, and then try to play that snare drum really, really soft. It's hard to do, but also there's a certain rhythmic uh, propulsion to it. So not only do you have to be soft, you have to have a uh, rhythmic propulsion. Okay. And that figure just kind of repeats itself. If you use the uh, bowings that I give you and the fingerings that I give you, the, it works really well. The, um, those of you that may be wondering why I'm saying use an open A string, I do that because it minimizes the amount of string crossings. When you have uh, string crossings on a bass in pianissimo, they're very hard to do pianissimo or piano because it takes a lot of energy to cross strings on the bass. And so even though an open string is less responsive, at least you're keeping the energy level the same and so it makes it easier to execute the stroke. So that's the reasoning in case you want to know. You probably didn't want to know, but that's the reason. So use those open A strings. It'll make it a lot easier because you're not doing string crossings. Okay. Skip down to the B flat fortissimo. That's about the, the second half of the 36th measure of the excerpt. The trick to getting that subito fortissimo is to move the bow closer to the bridge in that quarter note rest that you have. So beforehand you have uh, a piano. Then you move the bow closer to the bridge. And really honk on that D it, uh, with the accent. It'll make people smile. Next thing, be really careful with measure uh, 43. Do play that first A short and make sure you don't run through that rest too quickly. Make sure you breathe on that. And a uh, little trick is to 
on measure 46 on that low G sharp, play it long with a lot of vibrato. And also a lot of vibrato on that high F. So that's pretty much it. It's a very short excerpt without really um, much to do about it. Just try to think of, uh, of a uh, galloping horse. I think that's what I like to think of as a galloping horse trying to be very quiet and now you understand why it's so hard to do but at the same time at least the challenge is pretty straightforward you know what it is and there aren't very many other challenges in this excerpt good luck i hope you enjoy doing these auditions this is the I, i've lost track how many years the uno string area has done these youtube tutorial videos it's always a joy to do these for you especially during the pandemic when access to instruction is even harder so I wish all of you luck, no matter the outcome of these auditions. You will have improved as a player and a person because you did them. So congratulations. Have a good one. And until next year, bye.